Hello beautiful people, my name is Sean Matlabe and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time here, just know that you are welcome to Lita Kocha Bra Ola Chukwa, my sister, and be comfortable. And if you are a returning subscriber and this is your vibe, period. <laughs> you know that i appreciate you so much now you guys before we get into it i just want to thank you guys okay i just want to take this opportunity to appreciate you guys so much like to thank you you guys so we just hit 300 subscribers like i am so shocked with the growth you guys we are definitely growing more than i anticipated so for that you guys thank you thank you so much and i do have hope that next week we'll be hitting 400 subscribers because the growth is too much like i can't believe it myself where are you guys coming from <laughs> like where do you guys come from huh uh, uh yo thank you so much you guys like honestly speaking thank you so much i do appreciate you so much and i do see the comments you guys thank you so much even the negative ones like i do see them okay and don't worry you guys if you see a negative comment down below just know that negative comment represents growth okay you know that i was vlogging on this channel i started this entertainment i started posting entertainment videos on the 13th of october literally this is like a new channel basically but i started with 100 and 110 subscribers if i'm not mistaken you guys so at that time when i started like uploading there were no comments okay and i would i always say that when you start a channel and there is no comments because you don't have people you guys when you see the comments the love and the negative the hate you know it represents um growth especially the negative comments for me represents growth it means that we are growing we are even attracting the haters uh, it means that Ritamaya <laughs> sharp. <laughs> so keep them coming it's okay you guys but you guys on a serious note ne, i don't mind the negative comments but i just wish you guys can handle um not agreeing with me better i mean we can never have the same opinion i must say something that you do not agree with and if you say in the comment section that mm -mm, what you're saying i don't agree with what 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 it's it's okay like we have we are talking here we are having conversation here and there is no a stupid opinion i tell you guys what i think or what i believe in and you are believing in something different or you want to say something different it's okay but if you are coming here to like body shame me uh -uh, i don't get it like we are talking about gogo maweni so why are you coming for my looks i don't get it but anyway you guys honestly speaking i do appreciate you guys so so much like i am so impressed with the with the growth and if you are being negative in the comment section i'm not going to delete your comment let's just move on i'm just going to like your comment and move on but if you have a different opinion obviously we're going to chat like i don't see a problem with you having a different opinion from mine it's okay it's life we can never like the same thing and if you are saying it in a respectful manner then definitely you are here so that we can teach each other things i might say something that you do not agree with or i might say something that is not correct so if you come in the comment section and say ah, ah sharon what you're saying is wrong or you are misleading us this is the fact then i would appreciate that so much because you are teaching me i am not always right okay but anyway you guys i'm rambling way too much let's get right into it so you guys i did a video um a few i did a video a few days ago if i'm not mistaken about Lundi london and her boyfriend there were rumors that Lundi london broke up with her boyfriend he took back the cars i did a video you guys and i advised you guys that if you are a woman in a you are watching this get your bag always have your own things so that this man don't don't disrespect you okay so after that london london you guys um she went somewhere she went out of the country with her boyfriend i don't know if she was trying to prove a point that she is still okay the relationship is still stable it's not shaking you know and i came back to you guys and i said that um london london is still with her boyfriend and i just hope that she is not doing this so that we can shut up you know things like that happen you guys 
when um maybe for instance if um, the news break that me and my husband are getting a divorce and i would run to my husband you know try to beg him just for content then we go out of the country it happens a lot you guys especially with the celebrities if there's rumanya and the the marriage is like shaking you will see them all of a sudden posting each other acting all happy which is so unnecessary honestly because divorce is not a new thing breaking up with your partner is not a new thing we are used to it our parents have been divorcing breaking up it's been a lot okay i don't understand why people act so weird when they are shenanigans um come out so now it turns out that actually londi london and her boyfriend mabonga did break up you guys actually wait the boyfriend dumped dumped Londi london okay he was just like mm -mm, i'm tired i don't want this anymore i can't be doing this anymore so buzzy b broke the news you guys and i'm gonna say that i do trust buzzy b you know why she broke the news um faith in getty and her husband um they're getting a divorce you guys i remember that time we were saying no they are fine what are, what are they said um people saying she, she was lying but actually she was right see now if they think it is divorcing her husband so buzzy b posted on her instagram page you guys please please follow buzzy b you guys i love her so so much buzzy b posted londi london and her boyfriend and said exclusive report by buzzy b s a it's over says mabonga to londi london it has been confirmed that the couple is no longer together because umfana does not want to continue with the relationship we saw the relationship blossom in front of our eyes where mabonga invited londi london to move in with him and her kids at his cluster house and even bought her a car londi london has now moved out and she is currently staying at a bn B and the car is with Mabonga. She is now back to using e hailing savers. And obviously, you guys, the comments were crazy. People obviously people believe Buzzy B, right? People were just like, uh uh, she must just give up on um relationships. Not give up basically. Someone was just like, mm -mm. Londi London must just take a break from relationships. And some people saying, um, like, what's wrong with Londi? Why are men leave her? Why men dump her? You know? And I'm just like, wait, guys, are we now gonna blame Londi London? Uh uh. You guys are those people, but if, um, if someone, her husband cheats, and then you are busy saying, why are men always cheating on you? Hey, bro. Is the woman's fault that them that their man is cheating? No, I just feel like it's not fair, you guys, for you guys to say what's wrong with Londi? Why is men always leaving her? I and also it's just two men that we know of. It's just Kevin Kosi and the Mabonga guy. And that's all. And even if it was ten men, you guys, ne? It is not, and it was never gonna be her fault. Her man dumping you is not your fault. If you are watching this and your boyfriend dumped you or your baby daddy, don't feel like it's your fault. It's not your fault. It's their, it's their problem. It's not your burden to carry. I don't understand why we always like put a blame on the woman. Hey, bo, my bonga leaving Londi, it's her fault. No, it's not her fault. But I'm just gonna still say it, you guys always have your things always you see the life you want if you want that life you'll have a, like luxury stuff luxury bags living in a mansion make sure that you get that life for yourself or you can afford it for yourself don't be um wanting that life then when you see when you're dreaming ne? when you when or you when you're drawing out down your vision board so when you're putting in your rent over on your on, on your board there you put a man no we don't do that okay they are 2024 and women are not going to do that anymore on your vision board you put on your your dream car your dream house your dream job or your business ideas whatever then don't see a man there in 2024 you don't dream of men okay men must dream of us please please don't be wanting the, the lavish life and then putting another man's child thinking they will be achieving these things for you they will never be yours they will never be yours get that into your head okay 
okay guys i think it's a bohonyana because i just got my nails done so <laughs> you know i'm shang <laughs> i feel like how to do my nala like you're always like using your your hands a lot i hope that does not annoy you guys <laughs> i just hope it doesn't annoy you now so yeah that is all you guys i'm just gonna say i still stand by my word every video of mine that you watch even if it's after 10 years especially when it comes to being independent i am still going to say it if you want to see yourself driving a range rover don't put a man on the picture the vision board should be you getting the bag yourself because mosadi guys okay okay please have your own things i know someone might still say but london is in the, is, she is not she is not especially with the life she wants i don't think she can afford the car that she wants the mansion that she wants so she is not because the life that she wants does not match her vision it has to always come from a man from a man from a man which is not a good thing at all really the point here is the man taking his car back that is the whole point the man leaving here is not a big deal like we we are used to it another big thing for me it's her introducing that man to the kids that is a red flag for me if you are a singer okay that is my opinion my personal opinion take it don't take it it's okay if you are a single mother don't just introduce it any man you meet in your life to your children it is a bad thing don't just introduce any man to your children learn the man the the, the day you are my wife i feel like that is the right time to do so you guys because if you don't do that you will date a man six months four months he, he dumps you you meet another rich man then you introduce the man to the kids that is not a good thing it is not personally for me for me it is not a good thing stop introducing every man in your life to your kids how many uncles does your children gonna have 25 uh, -uh please no no so that is not what we are going to do also in 2024 if you want um me to elaborate much on this just watch the video i made about Lundy london and her boyfriend breaking up i did the video i will try to link it down below but i don't have a lot of videos you guys you can literally just um see it honestly if you just go on my youtube channel you will literally see it ne? so that is all i'm gonna say for today i'm gonna leave this video here i thought I, I, i'm gonna do like a part two but i just feel like the video is gonna be too way too long so i'm just gonna do like a separate video about um mr makompo makompo you know makompo shit wena wena okay guys i think i'm over excited today anyway you guys yo i've been saying anyway you guys anyway you guys see you on the next one bye Mwah.